What's up YouTube? Justin here, back at it again with another unboxing and installation video. So I really do have two boxes here that I'm going to need to unbox. One will be installing today, and the other one is just um, stuff that I will be doing for other videos. They're both for the Miata. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this one. This one is for Moss Miata. I just went ahead and got air filters and uh, got two OEM oil filters. So I have one extra one for the other oil change after this one, next one that I'm doing. And then uh, the OEM part numbered air filter. This is the air filter. This is the oil filter. As you can see here, it's the OEM one. Now, for the next box, I'm very excited for. This is uh, this is something that I need for inspection to pass, and one of my headlights is out. So since one of my headlights is out, we are going to be putting some OEM headlights on there can see this is what it is here bulbs already in place and everything they're plug and play so they're no longer going to be LED but it's a real quick and easy installation so since it's quick and easy I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna be installing them with you guys today without further ado let's go out to the car and uh, install them all right guys so I've already took the top cover and the plastic trim off around this one. I'm gonna go ahead and do it on camera with this one for you guys. So, in order to take the plastic trim off, one, two, three, four Phillips head screws. Let's go ahead and take that off. Now that the plastic trim and cover is off, you can either use Phillips on these four screws here or eight millimeter. I'm gonna be using eight millimeter since it's easier. Got the short extension, eight millimeter socket with a uh, half inch drive ratchet or three eighths, excuse me. All right, before I take off this assembly, I wanna take the three prong connectors off on each headlight. So we're gonna go ahead, squeeze them and pull them off. There you go, just like so. Probably do this by just holding the camera actually on this one. Yep, real simple, just like that. All right guys, so both of the headlights are held on by a spring here, retainer spring, and this Phillips screw. So I'm going to go ahead and get a uh, 
set of uh, pliers, take these springs off here. And once I've got the springs off, we can go ahead and take the Phillips screws out. All right, one spring is out. Got the springs out here. Now that the springs are out, we can go ahead and take the Phillips head screw out. It should come right out. useless now <laughs> so I pulled these two yellow wires because they're pretty much useless now now that I'm converting back to stock but uh, the old ones are out all right guys so in order to install these I have to take the bracket on the old ones off by one two three one, two, three. So there's three Phillips head screws on each assembly. So we're gonna go ahead and take those off, put them on this one and this one. All right, guys, got this one reinstalled. We're going to go ahead and take this one on this one off and reinstall it on the second one. All right, guys, so unfortunately, it's starting to rain. So I'm gonna have to keep you guys in the garage to keep my camera from getting wet. I don't have the case on it currently and I don't feel like putting it on. But anyway, I've got the adapters on to put it back on the car. From here on out, I'm gonna put on the springs and the screw with the Phillips screwdriver um, by time lapse. So enjoy. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, it's still raining outside, but I put everything back together, top covers are back on. I have not put the plastic covers back on yet because once it gets dark out, I'm going to probably potentially have to adjust the screw out just a little bit so then the headlights can be more straight and point forward toward the line direction of the car where I'm going so I can actually see. 
but as you can see, turn them on here for you guys. See them on the trash can. They're actually fairly bright for halogens. I can't complain, but I'm gonna like them better than the LEDs also because they are just bright enough, but now they will pass inspection since the old ones, where are the old ones? The passenger side old ones, Halo, was out. So that wouldn't have passed inspection because of that. So I'm gonna go ahead, cut the video off here and close the hood up. I hope y'all are enjoying the content so far. And without further ado, until next video, please like, comment, subscribe. Peace.